Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do flat herringbone stitch and we're going to work on this gorgeous bracelet. Now if you've been watching my other tutorials you probably know that I'm a tight beater and in herringbone you cannot pull your thread tight and that's why I don't like this stitch. I really love the result. I really love the look of it. Look at how gorgeous and you know it reminds me of chain mail or it just looks like a metal silk, honestly. It's just gorgeous. And that's why I'm gonna show show you how to do it because I think you need to have options on. I keep on doing tutorials with craw. I just love craw, how versatile it is. There's so many things you can do with craw, but I think you might get bored with it. So in between, I have to do something else. So today I'm gonna show you how to do this stitch. And for that, you will need some 11 Delicates. I'm gonna be using turquoise color today, as always, because you can see what I'm doing in the video. And then to embellish it on the sides and to attach that loop, I'm gonna be using 50 no tohos. So those are two beads you need. And then we finish the bracelet in a way that you can attach any clasp you want afterwards. So because it's one piece bracelet, we finish it with those loops. And in the end, I'm gonna attach the uh, the clasp with the jump rings so you will need two jump rings and any type of clasp you want I'm just gonna attach the same simple toggle clasp and then you will need your Naimo I'm gonna be using size D white color and beading needle size 10 you can use 12 if you want I'm, I'm fine with 10 you'll need scissors to cut the thread and in the end to attach the clasp you will need two pliers curved nose pliers and then chain nose pliers so you can use instead round nose pliers as well. It's just basically you need something to hold the uh, jump ring and then open it. So any type of pliers will do really. So that's all the materials you need. Um, I think we will need a stop bead as well. So I'm gonna get a stop bead and then we'll get to work. Thread your needle with a comfortable length. Here you will have to add several times uh, length of thread. And then I'm gonna show you how to do that as well in a separate video, which I will leave a link in the description box. So don't forget to check it out if you don't know how to do that. So I'll see you in a second. So I thread my needle. I have my bracelet here. I have my stop bead. I have my beads ready. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with ladder stitch first. Remember when we did the tubular chenille bracelet? We started with ladder stitch and on top of that, we built our herringbone. Uh, the start is exactly the same, but it's just flat, not tubular. And you can make it as wide as you want. Mine is 16 beads wide, but you can do it any width you want. You can make it 10, you can make it 12, you can make it 14, as long as it's even number. In a, a herringbone, it has to be always a pair of beads. So mine is 16 beads wide, and I'm just gonna keep the same length. I think it just looks good. So I'm gonna start the same thing and we're gonna start with our uh, stop bead. So I'm gonna pick, the, pick up the stop bead. I'm gonna leave a tail of about half a yard, half a meter. That tail is gonna be enough for me to finish off one side of the bracelet because once I continue, I don't wanna be coming back with my thread to add this side. Now we're gonna just build the first row of a ladder stitch and continue with the herringbone. And then once we are done with this side, we can just, uh, uh, with the tail, finish off one side. So I'm gonna leave a tail of about half a meter. If you are very new and you're not too sure, don't, don't, uh, leave a longer tail. It doesn't really matter as long as you're comfortable working with it. But I think a half a meter is enough. So here is my stop bead. I, I think I have slightly more than half a meter, so I'm just gonna pull my thread a bit. Yeah, that should be plenty for me. And then I'm gonna pick up 16 beads because our bracelet is 16 beads wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15, 15, 15. So I have my 16 beads and I'm going to drop it down to my stop bead. And now we have to start doing our uh, ladder stitch. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to zoom in. And what I'm going to do with my needle, I'm going to pick up the second bead from the upside down. 
see I'm not going from down up I'm going from up to down and then I'm gonna pull my thread and then when I pull my thread these two beads the bottom two beads should align right next to each other right but with, with the needle I'm gonna pick up the next bead See, next bead from up to down and then pull my thread and then if I pull both sides the third bead is aligned we're building our ladder stitch and then I just continue all the way till the end with my needle pick up the next bead from up to down see and then pull my thread and then when I pull both sides have my fourth bead on the ladder stitch and I just continue with my needle pick up the next bead from up to down See, that's my fifth bead there and now here it's gonna be getting a bit tight so I'm just gonna pull my stop bead a bit further it's not much just a bit and then I'm gonna pick up the next bead from up to down and pull my thread. It's not a very comfortable position I'm in right now. And when I pull my thread, look. All the beads are lining up into a ladder stitch. Pick up the next bead. And pull my thread. And I just pull both sides. Pick up the next bead. Pull my thread, pull both sides of the thread, pick up the next bead, pull my thread, then when I pull both sides of the thread, same, pick up the next bead, and pull my thread. The next bead pull my thread you might have to help the beads sometimes to align properly okay. then pick up the next bead and pull my thread pick up the next bead Pull my thread, pick up the next one, the next one, and then the last one. I have my ladder stitch ready and here we start our herringbone stitch now this is the last time you pull your thread hard because in herringbone you don't pull your thread hard at all just remember that you don't want to tense your the thread from now on so I'm gonna pick up two beads now here on the last bead you want to just reinforce that two beads I'm just gonna go down through the neighbor bead pull my thread and come back up again through the first beat just so it's easier for you to continue and now it holds in place and now I'm gonna pick up two beads I'm gonna go down the next beat look that's how it's supposed to lie down I'm gonna go up the next beat my thread pick up two beads go down the next bead go up the next one pull my thread not hard I just pull it enough 
so I don't see a thread underneath. See? That's it. Two beads. Go down the next one. And so on until the very end. Go up. The next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the next bead. Pick up two beads. Ah, go up the next bead first. Pick up two beads. Go down the next bead. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the next one. Go up the next bead. Pick up next bead, two beads. Go down. Go up. Pick up two beads. And go down the last bead. Now it's the place where we step up. This stepping up procedure is the same in every single row. So it's very easy stitch actually. You just continue the same way. Now it looks a bit wonky because it's our first row, but once you get to the second and third rows, it's all gonna line up properly. I'm gonna do a couple of rows with you. Now here, we're gonna pick up 150 now. And then we're gonna step up to the next bead. And pull my thread. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up two beads. Go down the next bead. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads, go down the next bead. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads, go down the next bead. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads, go down the next one. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads, go down the next bead. You can help your beads just to lay down properly. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the next bead. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the next bead. Go up the next bead. Pull your thread. Pick up two beads. 
and go down the next bit. Pull my thread. Now just to make it easier, well actually I'm gonna stay in this row. What I wanted to explain, when you do like couple rows, like I did second row, right? Your work starts curving and you might start panicking, but don't worry, once you get couple rows up, it's gonna all line up. The reason it's curving is because you have a very tight row of uh, leather stitch at the bottom, and then you have very loose rows on top of that uh, herringbone stitch. That's why it's curving. But once you get upwards and connect those between each other, it will start lining up properly. So don't panic in the first couple rows when it looks wonky and too loose. So here I'm just gonna flip it over, pick up 150 now, Remember, we're stepping up. My thread is coming out here. I'm gonna go up the next one. And pull my thread. Just make sure here my thread is proper. Not too loose, not too tight. Pick up two beads. Go down the next bead. And pull my thread. See? And then I'm going to go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the side. Go down the next bead. And now here, see, I, I get it too loose sometimes. So I just wanna make sure I can pull it a bit tighter so that thread there doesn't show much, see? Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the next one. Just gonna pull it a bit tighter. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the next one. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the next one. Go up the next bead. Oh dear. And pull my thread. Pick up two beads. Go down the next one. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the next one. And go through that last unit. Pick up two beads and go down a bit. Then I'm gonna flip it over and look, it's, it's even more wonky than the first row when we finish the second row. Now this, we have three rows, look. You can see the herringbone building up. So once we have a couple more rows on top of that, they start gonna connect between each other and it's gonna go up, see? Like here, even you can see how my uh, ladder stitch is here, but my herringbone is wider, and that's how it's supposed to be because your herringbone is wider because you leave so much space in between that. So I'm gonna do one more row with you, and I'm gonna let you continue on your own because it's the same procedure all the time. I'm gonna pick up one fifty now, then I'm gonna step up. See? 
pick up two, 15, two uh, beads delicas our 50 knots are just for the sides that's all and go down the next bead okay go up the next bead the further you go it easier it gets because in the beginning it's quite hard with the tension considering your uh, work is getting wider but once you do it a couple times you're gonna get the hang of it get two beads Go down the next bead. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the next bead. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads, go down the next bead. I'm just gonna help my beads sometimes. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads, go down the next one. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. And go down the next one. Go up the next bead. Pick up two beads. Go down the next one. The next bead. Pick up two beads and go down the last bead there. And pull my thread. Then I'm going to turn it over. Pick up 150 now. Step up. And I'm gonna let you continue on your own. You do the same thing all the way until the end. And here, let me explain you the sizing. My bracelet here, when I connect the clasp, if I measure from ladder stitch to the ladder stitch, it's gonna be two inches. So my main part of the bracelet, the, lad uh, the herringbone stitch, here is five inches so my bracelet is seven inches long so because i'm going to be using the same clasp same number of ladder stitch here it's going to be again two inches but i want my bracelet to be six and a half inches so instead of making five inches total in the herringbone part i'm going to make it four and a half now this measurements work for my bracelet depending how long is your clasp, how many rows of uh, ladder stitch you're gonna do. If, if it's the same with me, you're probably gonna end up with the same numbers, but if it's different, then you have to consider measuring in a different way. You can always make up the length adding more ladder stitch here or more, adding more herringbone stitch. It's entirely up to you, but that's my measurement. My measurement from uh, the ladder stitch and the clasp part is two inches. So the, uh, the place where I adjust the size is my herringbone part. So I'm gonna make it four and a half inches long and then we're gonna meet here again and do one side of the clasp and then I'm gonna let you finish it off on your own. And uh, if you don't know how to add a thread to herringbone, I'm gonna leave a link to a short video in the description box. Don't forget to check it out where I show you how to do that. So I'll see you in a minute. I have my herringbone part ready. I decided to make it slightly shorter than my previous bracelet. So it's like a half an inch shorter. And just like we started with ladder stitch, we have to finish it off with ladder stitch as well. So how do we do that? Very easy. What we're gonna do, that top row of beads in the herringbone, we're gonna turn into ladder stitch by connecting each bead to its neighbor. 
So I'm gonna zoom in a bit more. First, we need to step up. I finished my last row and just left the thread hanging down. And now we have to step up towards and we do it just like we did all the other rows by picking a 150 knot and then I'm gonna go upwards. And now, and now without adding any beads, I'm gonna connect those top row beads to each other. So I'm just gonna go down the next bead and I'm gonna go up the first bead. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull my thread to make sure those beads stand up next to each other, see? The herringbone effect is gone. Then I'm gonna go down the next bead. I'm gonna go up the next bead. Then I'm gonna go down the previous bead. Then pull my thread. Same. Then go up the next bead. down the next bead and then go up the previous bead and now we're gonna go back down go up the next bead go down the previous bead and then pull the thread here Go up the next bead. Go down the next bead. Go up the previous bead. Then pull the thread. Go down the next bead. Go up the next bead. Then go down the previous bead. Pull the thread, then go up the next bead, go down the next bead, go up the previous bead, and pull the thread, go down the next bead, go up the next bead. Go down the previous bead and pull the thread. Then go up. Go down the next bead. Go up the previous bead. And pull the thread. See? They're sort of lining up. And that's what you need. Go down the next bead. Go up the next bead. Go down the previous bead. So slowly by slowly, you are picking up one bead at a time, connecting it to this row. And then go down the next bead. So when I'm picking up the next bead, which is not connected into ladder stitch yet, I'm gonna connect it to the previous bead. It's fairly easy to do. Two beads left and then we can step up. And that's the last bead connected to the previous bead.
Now that's how you do your ladder stage base at the end. So I'm coming out of the second bead. All I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna zigzag my way back. So I'm gonna go down the next bead, go up the next bead. Pull my thread on the way, go down the next bead. And then go up the next bit. So your ladder stitch is more or less gonna straighten up. See that side ladder stitch is straight and this side is still wonky. And then the last bead up. And now look, we have straight ladder stitch. So it all looks the same on both sides, see? And now we're gonna continue building ladder stitch. If you see here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows of ladder stitch. I'm gonna show you how to do two and then I'm gonna let you finish it off on your own. And then we're gonna come back and attach the loop. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see. Now here we're gonna pick up two beads. Every time you start a new row of ladder stitch, you pick up two beads. I'm gonna go down and pick up that thread there. And then take my needle there. I'm gonna go up the bead Go down the bead, next one, and then go back up the second bead. Then when I pull my thread, those two beads should stand up there. See? And now from here it's easier. I'm gonna pick up one bead. I'm gonna pick up the thread there. take my needle through then go up the bead and pull my thread see pick up one bead pick up the thread pull my thread go up the bead Pick up a bead, pick up the thread, pull my thread, and go up the bead. Pick up a bead, pick up the thread, pull my thread, go up the bead and pull my thread. Pick up a bead. Go down, go I pick up that thread in the middle. Pull my thread. Go up the bead. Oh dear, I need glasses soon. And pull my thread. Pick up a bead. Pick up the thread. Go up the bead. Pick up the 
pick up a bead, pick up the thread, and go up the bead. Pick up a bead, go through the thread there, and go up the bead. Pick up a bead, thread and go up the bead. See how nice they are lining up? Very easy stitch but very time consuming. Not my favorite stitch. Two more left on this row. Oops. And then the last bead. And now to make it easier for me, I'm just gonna flip it over. Again, I have to pick up two beads to start the new row. I'm gonna skip that first thread, but I'm gonna pick up the second one. Pull my thread, go up the first bead, go back down the previous bead, and go back up this bead. And that's gonna line them up next to each other. See? And then I'm gonna pick up one bead, pick up the next thread, pull the thread, go up the bead. I think you got the drill. I'm gonna let you continue on your own and until you have six rows of um, ladder stitch. You can do as many as you like, but it's just in my design, I decided to use six. And then we're gonna meet again and add that loop. I have all my six rows of brick stitch ready and all we have to do is attach the loop, like here. I'm gonna pick up 20 50 nose. So I have 20 50 nodes. I'm coming out of one of the uh, top beads. I'm gonna go down the opposite one. So I'm coming out here. I'm gonna go down the opposite one. Let's pull my thread. And that's how you create the loop. All we have to do is reinforce it. You don't wanna just end it there because this place is gonna be, that's where we're gonna attach the uh, clasp and it's gonna be pulled all the time when you put your clasp and remove the clasp so every time. So we want to make sure we reinforce it. So now I'm here, I'm just gonna go down here, go up here and come back around. So I'm just gonna zoom in a bit more. I'm gonna go down the next bead. Go up this bead here. Go back up. And go through all those beads. I'm just going through all those 15 nodes. Now I reinforced it once. I think I, I can do it one more time. I mean, 15 nodes have very small holes, so 
sometimes going third time is very tough, but I'm still gonna do it. I think I can do it. Because I want to make sure my clasp is nice and secure. I'm gonna go down this bead. Go down the nape a bit here down. And then I'm gonna go up this bead. It's all very tight right now, so you might have some difficulty, but just take your time. There's no rush. You can stop the video and, you know, take as much time as you need and then come back and rewatch it. It's quite tight in there right now, but I am managing to go through the third time. So that's it. It's nice and secure. All I do is get rid of the tail. Now, if you've been working with brick stitch, you probably know that this stitch is very tight and there isn't much space between the beads. So you don't really have to do any um, uh, knots. All I do is just go through some beads and then tie the knot. Uh, uh, I mean, cut the tail. I'm not gonna tie any knots here. I'm just gonna go through some beads. Even going through the beads is quite a hard job here because everything is so tight. Going up and down creates those really nice tight spaces so the chances of your thread coming out are, I don't think that you'll come out ever. So I'm just gonna I went down here, I'm gonna go up here, pull my thread nice and tight, take my scissors and cut the thread at the very base. We have one loop ready. And now I want you to do the second part on your own. Do the six rows of a ladder stitch or as many as you did on one side. Attach the loop. Now, depending on how wide, how uh, thin your bracelet is, you might want to change the number of 50 nodes here. You don't want to make a very loose loop, but you don't want to end up with a very tight space between the loop and the brick stitch as well. So just make sure you do your proper calculations if you're doing different numbers. And I'm gonna see you here to attach the clasp. And now it's time to attach the clasp, which is probably the easiest clasp attaching I've ever done so far. So all we do is just, I'm gonna pick up one of the jump rings, hold it in place with my curved nose pliers, open it up with my second plier, Put one of this one side of the loop on the break of the bracelet and just one of the side of the clasp. I'm just gonna pick up this one. And all I do is just close it. Just have to be careful here. One side is ready. And then I'm gonna pick up the next jump ring. Open it up. Take the second side of the bracelet and second side of the clasp and close the jump ring and it's ready. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love the feel of it. You can't really see it here. Well, you can see some shine, but these both colors are very sparkly under the light, under the sun, under the lamp light even in the evening with dark uh, like dim lights it's really sparkly i'm gonna leave the codes for both of the bracelets the colors in the description box so don't forget to check it out if you like the colors look at this isn't it gorgeous so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial 
feel free to share it with your friends, feel free to share it anywhere. I'll, I'll be glad to know that people are learning from my tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you in the next tutorial, guys. Bye-bye.